Hi, this is Catapult for Catapult Gaming, and in this episode, we're going to be talking all about set items. So if you're having a hard time finding the set items that you need for your build, this is the place for you. And we'll start off basically by talking about what are the set items and what items can be set or not. So as we can see over here, the set items are in green. And they can only be available for the items on the left of your screen over here. So that would be your feet, your waist, your gloves, and your two rings and your neck. All of the other items here in this version of Diablo, you can only get uniques would be the highest drops that you can get. So you can't get any set items for these. Uh, so it's two very different systems. Now, that being said, as Hell 1 uh, difficulty for my set, these are the two items that I can uh, get for now. So one is for the feet and the other one for the waist. And when I get both of them equipped at the same time, I get uh, an extra 15% damage for my summons, which is really good. So how and where can you obtain these items? The If you go over in the Battle Pass, you'll notice that this week, the Mad King's Breach and the Pit of Anguish both have this icon showing that it has an increased chance to drop Legendary and set equipment if you're hunting in Hell 1 or higher difficulty this week. So that means that if the set items that you need come from one of these two places, it's definitely a great week to be hunting for them. If the set items you need come from one of these other places, you can still obtain them, but the drop rate would be a lot lower. So definitely pay attention to what the two dungeons that have extra drops this week are and see if they can be of benefit to you. And to find out exactly which zones you have to go in, I'll switch over to my web browser where I'm on the Gamer Rant uh, website, and I'll put a link in the description. And basically over here, if we look for Necromancers, the Shepherd's Call to Wolves, you have a list of all the set pieces, the slot that they occupy, and most importantly, the location where you can hunt for them. So if you go in Hell 1 difficulty, uh, you can obtain the waste in Kikaros Rapids, in the feet in the Temple of Namari. If you go hunt in Hell 2 difficulty, you can obtain the neck in the Tomb of Farhir and the hands in Destruction's End. And finally, you can obtain the two rings in Hell 4 difficulty at Mad King's Breach and Forgotten Tower. And as you can see, every zone is uh, very different in terms of which location you have to go hunt to get the drops and which difficulty level it is. Uh, but what does uh, tend to remain is the waist and feet are available in Hell 1, neck and hands in Hell 2, and the two rings in Hell 4. So definitely, uh, if you're missing one of these pieces and you're high enough level to go do these locations, uh, it's really great if you can... Uh, go get those. The bonuses tend to be very good and a great way to make your character stronger. And on top of that, uh, if uh, any of these locations happen to have a higher drop rate this week, uh, this would be a great place to focus on. So in my case, uh, unfortunately, the Mad King's Breach is, uh, you know, I would need to be held for difficulty to be to get the ring. And even if I were able to get it, uh, it would still be too high level for me to equip. So basically, in my case where I'm uh, only Hell 1 difficulty right now, uh, I already have the waist and feet, and none of these are a special drop dungeon uh, this week. So not really looking to hunt a whole lot of time just to get a same item with uh, higher stats. So uh, for me, I'll be done for this week and hope that uh, next week as I go in uh, Hell 2 territory, if uh, Tom of Fahir or Destruction and get the bonus drop, that would be uh, what I'll be focusing on my hunting for. Yeah, so the other way you can obtain some set items is if you go in the shop 
and you go under the services prodigies pet you'll see that at certain levels you obtain so at paragon 5 and 15 you obtain a belt of your choice at uh, 25 35 you obtain boots 45 is the gloves and 85 is a neck so definitely uh, keep an eye out on it and it's a great way to obtain uh, couple of free set items uh, as you level up to. So between this and the dungeons, you should be all covered to get all your set items. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment box. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a friend. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.